all the fantasy racers, the dwarves are probably the hardest workers. They mine, they drink, they eat, they drink, they mine, and they drink, and that's their life. And you know what? I bet they love it. I'm Rob from JTRPodcast.com, and I'm going to show you how to play Dwarves Fall. This is a game for two to four players, plays in about 60 minutes, is designed by Lewis Brewer, and is published by Vesuvius Media. You play as dwarves, building a kingdom and stockpiling food in order to survive the coming winter. To set up, shuffle the trading goals and reveal three, then shuffle the secret trading goals and give one to each player. Sort gems by type and put them face up and shuffle the ogre cards and put them face down. Give each player their nine kingdom cards and the seven dwarves of their colour. The youngest player goes first. Gameplay is over three phases, perform actions, resolve and discard. In the perform actions phase, a player has three action points and each of the following actions cost one point each. The first action is to play a kingdom card, either adjacent to or on top of any other cards in play, in any orientation. A card can be stacked on top of an empty kingdom card with a matching blue, purple or green icon, except a monster or a castle. A kingdom is every card within the walls of a castle. This is important. The second action is to place a dwarf on any free space in the kingdom. The third is to move a dwarf of your own onto any adjacent card if there is a free space, but not through walls. As a free action, a player can play an ogre card and resolve its ability. The ogre cards let you move, remove or swap dwarves on the board. They also steal gems and ogre cards from other players. After taking all of their actions, the players will resolve tasks. When resolving a task, return all dwarves from a card used to complete it. If you have X dwarves on the card, leave them there. If you complete a task but can't gain the reward, you still take the dwarves back from the card. The task will depend on the kingdom card, so let's look at them now. The castle will give its owner an extra action per turn as long as it's in play. If the castle is activated, the player can dig. Return two dwarves and put the top card of a stack of kingdom cards, as long as it's empty, to the bottom of that stack. A player can't dig if a monster is in their kingdom. There are two types of monsters. Frost giants cancel the extra action given from the castle in a kingdom. Dragons stop all mines in that kingdom from working. There are four different mines. Return the required number of dwarves to gain an emerald, a ruby, a sapphire or two gold depending on the mine activated. Put five dwarves on the same colour of the monster card to defeat it and that player keeps the card for endgame scoring. Activate the tavern to draw an ogre card. Activating a general store will allow the player to trade in gems to complete a trading goal. For example, trading four gold, two sapphire and an emerald to complete this task to gain 15 endgame points. Replace the completed trading goal with a new one. After taking all the actions, discard down to 9 Kingdom, Gem and Ogre cards, the back of the card shows if it takes up space in your hand. Play continues clockwise. The game will end when a player completes either 3 trading goals or 2 trading goals and their own secret goal and players then score. Completed trading goals are worth their printed point value. Gem cards remaining in hand are also worth their printed value. Each monster the player killed is worth 3 points. If a player's castle is in play, score points for every kingdom card within the walls of the castle. The most points wins with the tiebreaker going to the player with the biggest kingdom, then the most dwarves still on the board. That's Dwarves Fall, a tile and worker placement set collection game. Please like this video if you found it useful, share it to let others know about it, and subscribe to the channel for more how to play videos as well as other board game related content. You can find me on Twitter at JTR Podcast, support the show at patreon.com forward slash JTR Podcast, and you can find my blog and podcast at JTRPodcast.com. I've been Rob aka Jester the Rogue, and until next time, keep on expanding your kingdom.